Hello everyone, welcome to Clashing Order. So in this video, we will see the question 1, 40, uh, 1415 that is the kth lexographical string of all happy strings of length n. So let's see what is a happy string. First of all, a happy string is a string that there are two rules you can see consists of only the letters of set A, B, C. So that means the string, the whole string should consist of only three types of characters that is A, B and C from this set that we are given. And the second condition is that S of i is not equal to S of i plus 1. So that means the two adjacent characters should not be equal. So if like we are given A, B, then the next character cannot be B because B is similar to B. So it should be C. It should be unique actually you can see for all the length of the string you can see from i uh, from 1 to length of the string so you can see for example the strings are given a b c so this is a happy string because it consists of only three type of characters that means a b c and all the adjacent characters are different from each other here you can see a c b so or you can see in this string you can see all the adjacent characters are different than uh, other you can see a b then c b a, a then b c b c and b if it would have been instead of c in it would have been b instead of this c so then it won't be a happy string so you can see here all the all are the happy string but the strings a a so here all the adjacent characters that is a and a are same so that means it is not a happy string here you can see b a a so here it if it would have been instead of a it would have been b or else c then this would this would be a happy string but this is not we can see the adjacent characters this second condition is false here you can see b a a so a a should not be same here you can see so the we given uh, we given two integers that is n and k consider a list of all the happy strings of length n so here you can see this is of length 3 2 one so we have to consider all the happy strings of length n the, uh, and sort it in lexographical order and they also should be sorted in lexographical order so i will explain you what is lexographical uh, afterwards so let's see you can see they return the kth string of this list or return an empty string if there are less than the k happy strings of length n so that means we have to we will be given n and k you can see in this example we are given n and k n is 1 and k is 3 so we will have to generate all the possible happy strings of length 1 which will which will only consist of a b c and will be of size 1 and we have to print the third string that is k you can see k is 3 so we have to print the third string from that list so this is what we have to do you can see here the c is the third string because uh, of length one there are only three possible strings that is a b and c all other would be uh, not of length one so you can see here from here this list we have to generate which is consisting of all the happy strings of the particular length that we are given and we have to uh, print the third or you can see the kth value from this so kth value is c so here you can see n is one and k is four here you can see this is the so this is actually the base case you can see n is equal to 1 and k is equal to 4 so n is equal to 1 has only 3 uh, you can see possible happy string so k is 4 but k is not in the length that is k is greater than n so that will be simply we have to return the empty string because we don't have enough happy strings of that particular length and we cannot print that kth value for that particular uh, vector which is of less size than k so this will be one case and let's see how we can solve this question actually you can see the uh, size of n or the n will vary from 1 to 10 that means we will be we will be have to generating uh, we will have to generate the strings from length 1 to 10 and the k will depend from 1 to it will change from 1 to 100 so let's see how we can solve this question actually and i will also explain you the example first of all so actually uh, as it is written that we have to we are given n and k so we have to generate all the possible strings that are happy strings actually of length n so n is 3 here so to generate all the possible strings you can see it will be a b c uh, we, it should only, only consist of three types of characters that is a b and c so here you can see for n is equal to 3 all the possible happy strings will be a b c a c b b a c and you can see this b c a and all that so here you can see it it was also written that they should be lexographically sorted then only we should return the kth string so here the kth string in this uh, this uh, in this is this you can see b c a so we will have to output b c a but how uh, do we know that it is lexographically sorted or not lexographically sorted is actually if you are given like number one two and three okay so and you are given number one three and two so in uh, out of these which numbers is greater you can see which number is greater actually so here if you see one is similar okay one is similar so we cannot differentiate on that but here if you see two and three so here two is less than three so that means this number is actually greater than this number you can see it is lexographically greater than this one three two one two three so in this example also where we are given the characters here you can see a b c 
so abc is actually smaller than acb so if you will have to consider from left to right lexographically for uh, considering left uh, lexographically you will have compare you have compared to for, from left to right so if you compare from left to right you can see a and a are equal but here b is smaller than c so that means this string is lexographically greater than the first string and you can see this third string is actually lexographically greater than the second string because here the first characters differ and here it is b and here it is a so a is smaller so this is actually the lexographically or lexographical order so what we have to do is we will be given n okay we have to generate all the possible happy strings so uh, you know that conditions first uh, condition is that they should be only consisting of a b and c the second condition is that or no adjacent characters that means these characters a b should not be equal if it is given like a a and then b so here this adjacent characters a and a are same so this cannot be a happy string so we don't have to do this so we have to generate all the possible happy strings of size n that is n is 3 here so we have generated all the possible okay lexographical strings and we have to sort them according to the lexographical order you can see they are sorted so they all are sorted then we have to find if this size this array that we have created which consists of all the possible strings of size n has length greater than k if it is greater than k then only we can output k so k is here you can see one two three and four so our output will be this bca if it would have been it would have been asking like k is equal to 10 so here you can see we have only the strings possible as six okay six strings possible of size n so how we can return uh, n so n is greater than six so in this condition we will simply return empty string here you can see in this question so we have returned empty string in this you can see n is equal to 2 n k is equal to 7 8 here it is written uh, return empty string if the uh, there are less than k happy strings of length n so let's see how we can approach this question so actually you would have to go to know that uh, first of all we have to generate all the possible strings as i told you we will have to generate all the possible strings so first we will have to start with empty string so uh, for this generating all the possible strings you know that permutation of saying so we use recursion so for this question this is the hint actually we will have to use recursion here you can see the uh, constraints are also not that large n is uh, n varies from 1 to 10 and k also varies from 1 to 100 so we simply you can see the we can use recursion because the constraints are also like uh, optimal so that is why we will use recursion so let's see how we can approach this question now we know that we will have to generate all the possible strings so all the possible uh, happy strings actually so to do that what we have to do is we will start with the empty string then we will put a at first place and then we will uh, try to put b after a and after a we will have to put c then we will keep adding we will have a set of three characters you can see a b c so we will run a loop and we will try to put all the characters after a particular character and to do that we will have to also check if it is a happy string or not to make it a happy string we know that we are satisfying the first condition because we are forming the strings only from this set of characters that is a b c so first condition is satisfied but for the second condition that two adjacent characters should not be equal when you are doing this you can see a b c uh, here, here after a so uh, first we have the empty string then you edit a in here to generate the string okay then you edit b then you edit c so after this condition here you can know that there are no uh, adjacent characters which are same but after this condition uh, after this uh, actually node you can see we have three options actually we can add a we can add b or we can add c here actually it is b actually you know that here it is b so we can add only uh, after c you can see we can add only a and b so when you are doing recursion you will call you can recursion will call automatically for three options so it will be for b a c and it will call for all the three options you can see these three options will be called but here only two are happy strings this is not a happy string so we don't want our recursion call to go to this string or to form this string so to stop that what we will do is we will simply actually while calling for the recursive uh, function uh, while calling for the recursive function we will not uh, we will check with with uh, before calling actually for the function we will check if the last character in the string so this is a string that we are given actually let me write it so we are given a string uh, we are on the string abc okay abc and we uh, we are we have to call the function recursively so, so before calling the function recursively i will also show the function and also the code so let's see first of all understand the uh, actually the approach so before calling the function recursively before adding any character we will check if the last character that we are on that is c it is equal to the character that we are at trying to add so we will be trying to add a b and c so when we try to add a here you can see a is not equal to the last character so last character is c so that means they are not a equal the adjacent uh, characters are not equal so that means the second condition will satisfy for this string so we will add it over uh, uh, we will call this function recursively for that particular character now we come to b so b is also not equal to c so we can call this function again 
when we come to C, so you can see this, we come to C. So C is actually the character we are on uh, trying to add. C is equal to the last character of the string. So that means we cannot add C here. So it will not be a happy string. So we will simply not call this function. So we will add a simple condition that the last character should not be equal to the character that we are trying to add. So this will be our recursion trick. Actually, you can see. So uh, simply we will form a function, have the function actually, which will try to uh, form the all possible strings of size n. So when it will come, it n will uh, like if n is three. So we will uh, try to like uh, recursively call the function. So first it will add a, then it will add a b after a and c after a then it will add a b c and a c b so when it reaches the size n that is n is 3 here so it reaches size of 3 that means we have formed a string of size 3 and which is also valid you know that it is a happy string otherwise the recursive function will not call that particular string if it is not a happy string so here a b c is a happy string so we will form a vector which in which we will store all the possible happy strings of a uh, size n so you can see we will add simply a b and c a b and c and uh, when the size of the string is actually equal to n so n is 3 and the size of string is also 3 so we will simply add the string so when you come to this call actually so uh, when you come to this uh, you, uh, you can see a c and b here you can see here we can add this also a b and a is also a valid string so i have not completed this question tree actually it says it is simply for the visualization actually you can see we will be also generating a b and a because a can be added after b C can be added and A can be added because the adjacent characters in this string are also not equal. So we will simply add A, B and A. So we will simply make a function which will call for all the recursive uh, uh, rec recursive strings and which will be happy string actually when the size of the string that we are forming this empty string start uh, this uh, start with the empty string when its size becomes equal to n that is 3 here uh, n is 3 so we will simply add it over result uh, vector then at the last when we have generated all the possible strings and our recursion has ended recursion tree has ended then we will return we will check if the size of the array that we uh, that means all the possible strings are greater than k if the size of the array is less than k so that means we have uh, not k value is not possible so we will simply return uh, empty string in that case but if it is possible we will return we will have the vector which has all the strings we will return simply k minus 1 from that vector because it is a one based indexing actually k so we will have to subtract one uh, uh, minus from uh, minus 1 from it so then it will simply return our output so let's see the algorithm for this approach actually so you can see this is a simple algorithm for this so first we have to initialize an array of strings result as i told you we will have to store all the possible happy strings into a result uh, array so we will store into into a happy uh, this result happy strings then we will make a function we will make a function call actually to the build function uh, build thing is a function that we are trying to call recursive function or you can say a helper function so this function will take three arguments first will be n and k because n is to check whether a string is becoming is equal to the size n or not if it, it is equal then we will add it to, uh, to, the, to the result and to optimize our calls further optimize our recursion tree further what we can do is when our, we are given k also okay we are given k also when you are calling this function it will come here okay when it will add this thing so the array, size of the array will become one okay when it will add this thing the size of our array will become two so when it becomes equal to two and our k is two we will check if our size of array becomes equal to the k then we can simply return our function because we know that we have formed the kth value or we have found the kth value we don't have to find the after uh, after the kth value so that means we will simply turn from the function and we will return this value so we, you don't have to form all the recursion calls if you have got, already got the uh, size of the array equal to k so we will simply turn from that point so you can see here first of all this is a function that we will call okay this is a function call that we have made and this is a function so n is the length of the string that we want so n is 3 here and k is 2 and string is empty first of all we'll call the empty string actually you can see empty string and we will at every point we will check if the result size is equal to k okay, as i told you to optimize the calls so we will check if the result vector that we are having has already k number of uh, uh, strings so we can simply turn from the function and we can uh, return actually the result and uh, we, result that we have at k minus one so it will be the answer our answer so then we will, if it is not equal so that means we have to make more function calls so we will check as if string dot size is equal to n so as I told you when the string size becomes equal to n so that means we have formed a string of size n so we can simply add to add it to a result because it is the possible happy string so we will add it to a result you can see a result dot add and we will return from this function because these are already called so it will return to the parent function actually so for this recursion it actually uses stack so then you can as I told you we will have to use a for loop actually for this because we have to traverse over all the characters so all the possible characters are a b and c so this is actually a c is actually the last character that we are trying to add this is actually you can see capital C here 
so this is the last character that we are trying to add in a new character if we have a okay if we have a string empty string okay so we can simply add any character so you can see we will have two conditions if the string size is equal to equal to zero so that means our string is empty so we can any character so we'll simply call this function again and you can see string so it will call n and k n and k will remain same we don't have to step, uh, subtract it then we'll call the string so string here is empty because this is the first function call and we will add it the a to it and it will also call for b and c because the string is empty so now when our string is not empty so if we have a and the c comes to a so we will check if s dot pack is not equal to c that is uh, the c so c is here and a, the our string is also a so we cannot add a after a because the adjacent characters will become equal so the our the, our second condition will become false so that is why we are checking s dot back should not be equal to the character that we are trying to add so this will be a simple you can see algorithm for this approach so let's see the code so the time complexity for this will be actually uh, and uh, and this exponential time because you know that you will have to uh, less than it will be actually less than exponential because you have to generate all the possible strings that are happy strings so we are already uh, like filtering our strings so we know that we cannot form a, a strings which are adjacent which have adjacent characters so uh, already there uh, those strings will be filtered out so our time complexity uh, and we will reduce our function calls here you can see k we were using this uh, this condition also so that is why our time complexity will be actually less than exponential time so let's see the code for this so i've written the code i will also provide the code in the description so this coding is, is in c++ so actually as i told you we will uh, we will be getting this function so we will be getting this function actually you can see string get happy strings so we will be getting the happy strings so you can see we have got n and in uh, and n and k so first of all we will have to make a helper function which will be calling so let's see so this is our helper function and we will pass the size of the string and the kth value that we are finding for and the string s so s is initially empty you can see here we are calling the function with the empty string so we will check for the three conditions first condition will be actually if the size of that particular array that we are from you can see we have formed a global array of string which we'll be using for returning the strings we will check if at any point the array a size is equal to k so that means we have formed all the possi uh, possible strings till k so we have to return k only so we don't have to find the happy strings after k so we will simply turn from this function and this will optimize our solution and make it faster so you can see if it returns at this point that means we have formed we are searching for a uh, strings of size n and here we have got k so it will simply turn from this function and it will check if the size is less than k so it will turn empty string otherwise it will simply turn a result k minus 1 so the next call will be if the if the array size that we are we have uh, to use is not equal to k so that means we have to make more function calls so that will be uh, we will enter into this condition that is else if so else if we will check the size of the string is equal to equal to n that means we have formed a string which is of size n which is also a valid possible happy string so we have to save it somewhere so we are using this global vector actually of string so we will add it or you can say push back to uh, this particular vector and we will return from this function call that means we have found the particular happy string for this uh, recursion so next uh, we will uh, Go, uh, return and then it will call for the parent function so again this function you can see we will be iterating over all the possible characters so here the our set is actually a b and c so this you can see auto we are, i will use auto so it will iterate over all the, the three possible you can see characters so character to add is actually we are given a string okay we are calling for the string if it is empty so it will add a so if it is not empty so it will check if the last character is not equal to a so if it is not equal so we will add a otherwise it will call for b or otherwise it will call for c so you can see if the string dot, there are two conditions if the string dot size is equal to zero if the, it is empty we can add any character if it is not empty then we will check if the last character is not equal to the character that we are trying to add then only we will call for this function so afterwards when it with the recursion will end okay the, all the conditions are not true this condition is not true so that means we have to find all the possible uh, strings so then we will check if the result array size is less than k so that means there are no uh, k there are less than k strings happy strings so we will return the empty string otherwise we will simply return result k minus 1 because it is zero based indexing so we will have to uh, subtract minus 1 and return the uh, k minus 1 uh, string so let's submit the solution and see if it works so it is submitting actually so this is not a backtracking approach actually so i tried also the backtracking approach but it took you can see the more time than this particular simple recursion call so this was the optimized version actually so you can see it got submitted and it was faster than 75.37% uh, of the solution so thank you for watching guys i hope you like this video and do subscribe to this channel and like this video for more such videos thank you for watching guys